In recent days, we've been seeing people take a rocket and fly over hundreds of thousands of feet into space. Some ventures that are doing these are the likes of Virgin Galactic, SpaceX, Blue Origin, and more. And one day, we soon see that most of the population will experience the same moments that they did. But where and what will this so-called airport look like, or more commonly known as a spaceport? Well, there is a particular country in East Asia that is filled with inventions and discovery. Yes, you may have guessed it right, it is Japan, the land of the rising sun. And this is Japan's floating spaceport, and it could make the dreams of touching space a reality for most. This will house all the necessities needed for a spaceport to function, but it would also have airport-like entertainment facilities. In more detail, this spaceport would house entertainment, restaurants, and leisure activities. Everything is even designed to be space-themed. It will have an aquarium, disco, movie theater, and quite a lot more. But entertainment isn't its only target. It will also house research, business, and education facilities to ensure that the future developments of similar projects are still a priority. The space industry could open doors we've never seen before. It could initially not only be an entertainment place where a few go and see the world, but it could make traveling a lot faster. Economically, it is quite obvious that this is going to be an expensive endeavor, but as time goes by, costs from all sides would eventually come down. From a numbers point of view, it is said that space travel could cut down travel time by another level. It is said that you could go from Hong Kong to Los Angeles in just one hour. On the usual travel time set by airplanes, it would often take over 12 hours to do so. If Japan can develop such a magnificent project, then it will set Japan as the first in all of Asia to do so. Japan is renowned to be one of the world's most advanced economies, and this is especially true in its transportation system. They are known to have the best of the best railway systems, airports, intercity transit lines, and so much more. This spaceport not only will it advance Japan's status as one of the world's leading transportation hubs, but will also make Japan be Asia's central hub for the space travel business. The location of this floating spaceport will just be in the offshore of Tokyo Bay. But what's more amazing to know is that this isn't the only spaceport that's planned. From what we know, we have seen that there are three more spaceports that are being planned. The first is Hokkaido Spaceport in northern Japan, Spaceport Orita in southern Japan, and Shimojishima Spaceport, located on an island near Taiwan. But there are high chances that these will change, as such a project would take decades to create, and a lot of unprecedented actions may take place. Along with Hokkaido Spaceport, where Taiki Town resides, it will be redeveloped into an entrepreneurial facility. It is said that Taiki Town will become the Silicon Valley of the space industry, as it houses numerous rocket launch complexes. Currently, the facility in which Hokkaido Spaceport will live is actually already an aerospace research field. Several programs that launch rockets in space have already been done, and some are scheduled for launch in the future. But with all of this fancy stuff, will this be actually good for Japan or for the entire world to do so? It is quite known that space debris is growing rapidly with the advancement of every country wanting to launch their own machines into space. As of October 2019, there are a lot of nearly 20,000 artificial objects in orbit above the Earth and 2,218 operational satellites. And this will continue to grow as we head into more ventures above us. For Japan, we are sure that they have already thought about this mega project. They have and will be one of the world's leading space countries. Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, or JAXA in short, has completed several missions already in the past, with more coming in the future. With this spaceport, Japan is ensuring itself as a leader among other countries in the space industry. According to Morgan Stanley, the space industry is big with over $350 billion as of 2016 and would reach way over $1 trillion by 2040. Anyway, what do you think about Japan's new spaceport? Will Japan be able to successfully execute its way into leading Asia's space business? Share with us your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to leave us a like and follow us for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching.